Because the house is not the same without her. Like, we're on a break. We're on a break, right? Or, or, or as the doctor said when she stuck a finger up my arse, we're, we're on an indefinite hiatus. That joke makes a lot of white people uncomfortable, uh, which is why I tell it. Uh, you know what else I've tried? Antidepressants. I've been on seven different types of antidepressants. Seven. I've had as many antidepressants as Snow White had dwarves. None of them have made me happy, only sleepy, dopey, and grumpy. I blame the broke woke, of which I'm a member. This is so weird, talking with no response. Like, I, trust me, I've done comedy a while, I'm used to it. David Cameron, who was uh, lobbying. Um... I think we all get up in the morning lobbying, mate. Uh, well, I, I think he needs to lo lobby the UK, uh, the general public, about how much of a fucking twat he is. If you remember Atkins from the 90s, um, it wasn't good for you. It's kind of like Kanye changing his name to Ye. He's still bullshit. Here I am in the United Kingdom, which really actually isn't either one of those two things. See, now I didn't edit that properly, did I? Good evening! <laughs> wow, so nice to see you. I, I, got, <laughs> I was going to start tonight with an apology, right? I, I'm going to apologise to everyone. Everyone who I may have offended, or I, I may have upset in the past, especially in the 70s. I'm also going to apologise for starting late, although I'm actually starting early because this stream is set to start at 9pm tonight. So all the good stuff will be for, well not before. We're early. No, we're not. We're late. We're on time. I apologise because this is the year. This is the year of apologising. Why are we apologies? I love my fuck it. See, I didn't even know. One day I'm going to learn stuff and I'm going to say it, right? And then people will know that I'm saying stuff. But thanks so much for being here tonight. It's important. It's important for you to be here tonight because uh, we've got nothing else to do in the week. We just wait for you to come and sit in front of your televisions, get yourself a takeaway and a drink and sit there thinking, when's Steve Hen coming on? Because Fridays are not the same. We're going to finish um, on the 19th of June, which is three days before we open up. Tonight, by the way, we've got all the comedians are Scottish, apart from the one that isn't. So um, that's going to be nice. They're all the Doctor Who crowd. I'm going to call them the Doctor Who crowd. Who? Because I know a lot of you now, you know, you watch the, the David Luck shows with the music, you watch the Doctor Who shows, and you watch the Head Nights. And, and I'm, I'm, I appreciate both of you. I really do. It, it's important. It really does. Well, I was going to say, yeah, no, we're going to finish on the 19th of June, but in Scotland opens up a bit earlier, but I'll check with them, with the lads. But I'm hoping that we'll all be going out to, to comedy clubs uh, and watching and and also performing, those that perform. 
I, I just, you know, and so that's why we're going to stop this on the 19th of June. And we're all going to go out and mix with people. I know. It'd be so excited. So, so, so excited. Um, Wade was going to be with us tonight. Wade, the um, the comedian from Car from America who couldn't make it three weeks ago because he couldn't get a signal. Then we tried to talk him the following week and, and, and we couldn't get him in. But he has sent us... Uh, a video of his performance and I've I, he sent me 12 minutes and I've, I've got to cut it down to five but I can show you a couple of clips of it that's Wade drumming uh, so that will be I'm not going to do that tonight I think because we've got as I say he sent me 12 minutes and uh, <laughs> I can't even do two minutes to be fair I've just moved my screen into full screen, so uh, which is no good. So I want to. I like. I like myself a little bit smaller. Mm. So we've got some, as I say, some great comedians from. Um, where's that place at the top? Scotland. Yes. The Doctor Who crew and Av's back as well. Av Av sent me a very special news report. Actually, uh, I think. <laughs> Going over now to see Av Singh with some breaking news. Av! Breaking news, Steve. Thundercats are... Oh! No idea what that means. Av Singh, thank you. So Av will be here uh, talking about uh, events in the news. Um, also, uh, I might show you another clip of Wade. But I might not, really. I don't. Oh, I see my camera's a bit, a bit. Ah, uh, that's better. If you don't get the bit at the top in, I feel that I have to talk <laughs> a little bit longer. I apologise. The good stuff is coming. But I just want to make sure that everybody knows that the show doesn't start at nine o'clock, even though for some reason. And, and, and actually, we actually had a comment uh, saying Dom thought it was at nine, but I've, I've texted him and he's going to be here. Uh, that's Dom Mackay. Uh, no, he's not Scottish. So, yeah, I think we're ready to go. I think, you know, I think, I think that I'm going to call them the crew. I don't know why I'm calling them the crew. They're here. I thought actually we could actually say hello to all of them. Let's see. Uh, we can say hello to Tom. We can say hello to Elliot. We can say hello to Gabe. We can say hello to Ian. Say hello to Av. Look, these are what people do, right? Normally. They're either doing other stuff in the background uh, and they don't know that we're... I don't think I've, ha I've ever had this Hello. many people on screen at uh, once. Yeah, well, that, that worked, didn't it? I, I was going to suggest, Stephen, uh, Stephen, I call you Stephen then. You should be referred to them as companions, shouldn't you? Oh, I, I should. Hey, but... because Doctor Who has... Compa yeah, okay. Expendables. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, say hello, Scottish people. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How do you do on this fine morn? <laughs> I do love being Scottish. That's very good. They're very good. The the guy in the chair is I the invisible don't man. Say anything in be yeah. I didn't want to say anything then because I didn't want my accent to be offensive. It's, it's not offensive. It's not offensive. It's fine. I just thought I'd bring you all in, Ian, just to surprise you all. But you were you were away. Who are you people? <laughs> That's well, they are. <laughs> As I said, we've got one, we got one Englishman with us today. So, uh, who's that? He's, oh, he's gone. Uh, that's that was Ian. Ian's English. Right, that that's not that's not working as Ian, well as I want. Don't so you gonna, dare call gonna, him English. That's that's the biggest shock of the I'm gonna night. Get, calling Ian English. I'm going to get just started a war. I'm going to get rid of them all. We'll just talk to we'll talk to Dom, our mate Dom. You're right, Dom. Hey, hey, Steve. How are you doing, me old China? Hey, China plate. I was hoping that you'd be in the bathroom because yeah. every time you've done the head nights, you've been in a different room in your house. And I, I, I like your Welsh dress, so don't get me wrong. I, I thought I'd treat myself today by sitting in the swivel. I'm sitting in a swivel chair. I, don't, I, I have no what idea what that means. Uh, you know when oh, those sitting in the swivel. Spin. Well, yeah. So I, I would, thought, you most know what, I'd treat myself... Chair. Well, yeah, but but you don't get a desk chair in a bathroom, do you? And my toilet doesn't recline, so here I am. 
You haven't got a reclining toilet. No, because I'm not in the 21st century yet. I'm live. I'm living in 1997. Oh. And uh, how is how is how is yeah, lockdown going? Are you? Uh, I don't know how you said that. You said that like as if you were a ventriloquist. It it came out like the euro has gone. Yeah, it's, it's because I've got always got a hat. Yeah. Hey, no, Dom. Let me ask you a question, right? Because all right, on Tuesday 42. we did a Doctor. Who... I thought you were older. On Tuesday we did a Doctor <laughs> Who show. Yeah. There's there's either a delay or I'm I'm I don't know. But um, and your camera was 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 wrong. It was. It have was you saw? Old... Have you? Tonight, you Matthew, I am recording on my iPad. <gasps> That's probably why there's a delay. Because of all the pardon other ah uh, uh, a delay. Uh, Good. So how's your lockdown things. going? Are you have you been out shopping? I haven't. I actually haven't been to the shops much. I've mainly been going to the pub outside my iad. Um, but don't you live in London? There's no such thing as gardens, is there? Well, there isn't anything. So there's a nice patch of grass. I've seen a patch of grass once, and I call that a garden. It was like in the middle of a uh, uh, this place called Richmond Park, you know? Oh. Hey, yeah, do you think Apple could make make gardens and they could be called eye patches? I like that. I like that. But it, but I don't think it would help you see. No. See your heads, no. get it? Eye patches, you know, pirates. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> I, I, I've noticed your T-shirt. Is your T-shirt meant to be some sort of uh, boop, boop, space invader, but but with different it's people on? space invader, but with elk, because it's Sweden. It's a Swedish shirt. Whoa. <laughs> Why? I got it in Sweden when I went there last year. And you know what? I was feeling Swedish today. You know, I thought I'd treat myself. You've got to treat it's yourself cool. before it's, you eat yourself. I like you. Well, hmm. <laughs> I like, I like it. I like the colours and all that. But I don't Thank know you. why elks. What is Sweden? Is is elk like like a dragon in Wales? I was no, going to say no, a thistle in like Scotland. Deer. I should say elk are like deer, aren't they? I they're don't like know. I've never bought one. Animal of Sweden, I think. Deer's are not the national animal of anywhere, is it? I think oh. they are in Sweden, like, like moose. You know, like you know, like the the horned, not horned, antlers. That's it. That's <laughs> it. My 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 cat doesn't like the moose. I like that. I like that. That's quite good. You're on it's fire. Quite, hey, two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> fire! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I, I think um, you may as well do your stuff now. I'm, I think I've really buggered this Might up because well. I, I... Might as well. <laughs> everyone's going to come in at... Every, everyone's going to come in at nine o'clock. For some reason, I did... I, I, I've actually... I think people are now expecting this show to start at nine. I'm used to performing in front of nobody anyway, so just... <laughs> yeah. so just let's bring it on, boy. So am I. So am I. That's the, that's the thing. Right. You may as well, You may as well do your stuff, Dom. Let's do it. I'll tell you what, if we've got more people watching after nine, I'll, I'll let you do it again. Ah, oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> do, I love an encore. Repeat. I love a good encore. Hey, <laughs> I'm not big with ice cream. All right. Hey, Dom, do you know how many times this is? Uh, is this your fourth time? This is my fourth virtual, my fifth hen night. Because, yeah, you've done, a, you've done a real hen night, haven't you? I have. I actually headlined a hen night with you. Well, you came on last. Yeah. <laughs> Let me have this. Let me have this. <laughs> Let me have this moment, okay? No, you did. You did a grand job. And uh, it's it's like you're an old friend, but, but you're not 42. So, <laughs> here he is, back in the hen house for the fourth time, the fifth time on hen night. It's the man from Kingston. Kingston. On his own accord, it's Dom Mackey. <laughs> Hello, whoever is watching and... Yeah, I'll just say that now. Whoever's watching, hope you're enjoying yourself. Hello, comedians who are going to be on because you're whoever's watching. Um, I'm sure it's going to be a great night. Let's bring it on. So what can I tell you about myself? Uh, just so you can get to know me because, you know, webcam chat can be a bit awkward, you know. Um, I'm autistic. Yeah, so lockdown was actually a blessing for me. Yeah, I remember the news when Bojo said it on the television. He said, stay at home. 
don't interact with anyone. Keep your distance. And I went, whoa, 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 whoa. You sold me at staying at home. It was a blessing, though. Lockdown has been very interesting, particularly the last, like, month or so with this weird weather. Like, the weather changing so much in just a short day. I have, n- I, I have to admit, it was so bizarre. A couple of weeks ago, I got a tan and frostbite within an hour. It was absolutely mental out there. Bizarre. Within minutes of each other. I know it sounds ambitious, but that is what London's done. This is what lockdown's done to us. It, it just made everything go mental. Uh, but I have to admit, everyone, everyone has been making such a big fuss about lockdown. And, and I can understand that. It has been hard for some people. The, the, the hardest thing for me... I have to admit, was probably the face coverings, um, like, you know, the face masks. Don't get me wrong. I completely support the use of face masks and because uh, I actually went to Japan last year. I went to Japan in um, 2019, actually, to visit my brother. And they it's massive in Japan using face masks. They wear them all the time. It's absolutely crazy. And Japan is just a mental country. They see things so differently to us. And they're so technologically advanced. Like, the toilets talk to you. Like, the toilets actually speak to you. I I, I remember when I was in Japan and I, I went and did my business. Because I was there for two weeks. I couldn't hold it in for lo- that longer than that. That's the thing. Autism. I can't, like, go anywhere outside my house. I couldn't resist. So I went to the toilet. Did my business. The toilet said thank you. Like, the toilet actually said thank you to me. I mean... I still told it off for talking with its mouth full, but it said thank you. I was like, wow, that's mental. Japan's just a crazy country, though. I mean, um, konnichiwa is hello, um, arigato is thank you, and bukkake is disgusting. It's an absolutely crazy country. But face masks have always been a bit of an issue. I mean, face coverings in general have always been a bit of an issue in my life from when I was younger. And I think it delves down to my first and only experience with those eye masks you wear when you are um, trying to sleep. You know, the ones that you put on, like, when, for example, when you're trying to get bed and it's still light out and it helps you go to sleep. I, I remember I wore one for the first time when I was going on a long haul flight. I put it on and um, I, I went to sleep. It actually did the job. Not to Shabay. But the problem is, you know those moments when you are asleep, (laughs) I know, classic, and you wake up, but you forget what day it is. You forget what year it is. You forget who the president is. You remember those moments? That happened to me on the plane. And I forgot that I was wearing the eye mask. So I woke up and the first thing I did was shout, I'm blind! It was crazy. It was absolutely mental. Like, everyone started looking at me. I didn't know that was because I thought I was blind. But, oh, it was crazy. I thought the actual pressure of the plane caused my retinas to go. I have no idea how it just did. It was crazy. Um, I'm sure there's people who've now got a fear of flying because of me, but at the end of the day, they shouldn't complain. They've not had to travel much recently anyway. So technically, I've done them a favour. So if you're watching this, sorry, but you're welcome. But anyways, um, so back to me. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, you're probably wondering why am I sitting on a Friday night doing a, a comedy gig for Steve. Uh, it's probably because probably I'm single. Like, I mean, to be honest, my my love life hasn't been um, all that entertaining. Uh, It has had a few stories, my love life. Um, But I'll be honest with you, I kind of want to get back into the relationships. I miss uh, miss dating. I want to get back into it. And and for anyone who is watching, I am a very dedicated partner. I put a lot of effort into relationships. And I'll I'll give you an example. Uh, When I was 15, I went to my first ever date. And um, you're probably wondering, how well did it go? Well, I'm putting it in a comedy set. That's a little clue. But the problem is, before the day, I had no idea what to talk about to this girl. I was clueless. My life was just Doctor Who in the past. (laughs) Sponsoring the chat, Doctor Who, every second Tuesday. Magic, you're welcome. And I decided, you know what? I've got to go to my friends and ask them for conversation ideas regarding, you know, help to keep the date flowing. Because I've never been on one before. I have no idea what to do. So they suggested, the year was 2012, the big thing at the time were the Twilight films. So they suggested, go on Wikipedia, build up your knowledge on Twilight, Shazam, 
you've got a conversation. But I said, you know what? I want to actually go a bit further than that. I want to show that I'm dedicated, that I take this relationship seriously, and I want to go far. So the night before the date, I watched every single Twilight film up to Breaking Dawn Part 1. Shame she didn't like Twilight. But because I'm autistic, I saw Part 2 in the cinema because I wanted closure. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I, I always stick with some piece of advice that my dad gave me. And I'll, I'll finish this set tonight with a piece of advice my dad gave me. And he always tells me, Dom, you've got to appreciate the little things. And that's why I masturbate. Thank you very much for listening. Back to you, Steve. Have a good night, whoever's watching. Man, I thought you were doing longer. I thought, I thought I did seven I minutes. can't believe I got my mouth full after that last joke. <laughs> See, I thought I did I thought I did like six minutes. I thought I was pretty chuffed. No, it was really good though, Dom. Whatever however long it was, it was really good. And and however... the thousand people watching are loving it. <laughs> <laughs> thousand? You're multiplying that for your back. I mean, there's zeros in that number, but <laughs> there is, there's always there's always always zeros in my number. <laughs> but yeah, I know that was a good set. I like that. I like. I do. I do like a posh toilet, though. I'm going to be honest with you. They're classy, classy for your arsey. Classy for your arsey. There you go. You could have, put that on your elk t-shirt. I am. Oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> I was thinking today. I don't know why I'm telling you this because you made me think about like, like when it all finishes, like and everything. Do you think we're not? We won't be prepared because we weren't prepared for it when it started. Are we going to be prepared for it when we're allowed to go out again? Well, that's why I think they're easing us back into it, mate, with all the pubs reopening now, so they're kind of easing us into that. Uh, but I'll be honest, it will hit you like a ton of bricks. It will be crazy out there. Excellent. I mean, Scotland, Excellent. they'll be used to it. Scotland, they'll be okay. used to all the craziness because they're about opening early. Well, we, we, could, ask, we could ask Gabriel. Um, are, are you staying around for the caption competition? I might. I haven't had dinner yet, and I haven't had lunch today, so I might need to get some food in me. But I'll be back. Okay, that, that, I'll, I'll text you then when we're doing it. Uh, let me just check something while you're here. See if that works. Oh, yeah, what's this? Good. All right, it's just um, just so I know Lovely that it will work when I do the thing, really. But who's I don't that know how to handsome stop it. man in the corner? Oh wait, that's Gabriel. That's the song in that. Who's that handsome man, handsome in, man the in the corner? Corner. Right. Thank you so much, Dom. Uh, We'll come back for the caption competition. Uh, everybody go and find Dom on his socials. Yep, it's at CoolDom50 on Instagram, at Mackie underscore Dom on Twitter and on Facebook. Don't you dare. You could just put Dom Mackie in and they'd find you, wouldn't they, surely? Yeah, you can just put Dom Mackie and you'll find me. Uh, but also, if you uh, want to follow me on other means, this is how I look from behind. Is that your taxi chair. driver? That is very good. I like it. I like it. Uh, right. Uh, I was going to say something then about what you just said about you following you on the socials. but Oh, yeah. No, if they follow you, they can talk to you about Twilight, can't they? Cool. They can. Conversations. My Tinder date has them. been amazing. <laughs> Thanks so much, Dom Mackey. Yeah. That means go, by the way. When I when I when my voice goes, Dom Mackey. But I'm not going to call them all. Let's go and say hello to Gabriel. I'm going to give him a bit of an advance warning there because I think I've been just dragging him into the screens and they're not ready. But I've mentioned his name, Gabriel, so he'll know that he'll be the next person. Because if I said Elliot, it'll, it'll interrupt him. <laughs> no, Gabriel, you all right, mate? Yeah, I'm doing great, Steve. Haven't I'm seen you for years. It's been a long time. It's been... Uh, you know, empires have risen and fallen and turned to dust in the eons Tell me a... we saw Tell each other. I like. Have you moved? No, I've. I've. Uh, I think in the past I had my laptop over there, and now I have it uh, there instead because you can yeah, see. Yeah, because I like your. I like your uh, skeleton on the door. I've not got the skeleton's not on the door anymore. Um, <laughs> it's. Uh, it's. It's over here. Guarding some books. Guarding his, books. <laughs> his, his, uh, his sort of Christmas bauble loop up here uh, fell off, uh, so he's oh. no longer able to hang. He's no longer able to dangle from the coat hangers on the door. What's it? What's it so made of? Instead, 
Uh, plastic. It was something that um, my friend Callum McCaskill, who's a performance artist, he was fleeing to Germany with his wife uh, in the, you know, when Brexit, uh, just, just after the Brexit. Oh, geez, I thought you were going, and, I thought you were going back in history there, man. No, yeah, go, uh, go, yeah, he, Brexit. He like, gave me like most of his stuff while he was fleeing to Germany. So he gave me this skeleton. He gave me like a collection of Ray Harryhausen miniatures. He gave me like a small brass horse and carriage and you're supposed to like keep bottles of wine in the carriage gave me a plastic chainsaw from the early learning center it's like an early learning center uh kit for toddlers to pretend to be lumberjacks uh, i gave me like a lifetime supply of party poppers and death race on dvd so it gave me lots of great stuff it's great again i like the idea of a horse and carriage which which holds a bottle of wine yeah it's good it's uh you know if you want to put near a small pretend animal it's it's the product for you well that's the, that's that's the thing and a lifetime supply of party poppers how many you got left um about uh 80 um so the, if I'm you use one a day never, you're never not you're not long for the ever. world <laughs> <laughs> well, i was just saying like if i just if I avoid parties like play oh um, just here at the moment uh one every new there. year's one every hogmanay that'd be all right wouldn't it uh, but if I do that for like 79 of them and keep one just forever in the attic under lock and key, like the picture of Dorian Gray, and then I'll you, never you... wither. I'll just continue for eternity. Hey, that's that's really oh, no, surreal, but, but I, I like might, it. I might wither. I might like age and like go senile and decrepit and stuff, but I just, I wouldn't die. Yeah, but you'd forget, so you'd forget just... that you're all senile. You'd go up to the attic, you'd find the party popper and pull it because you'd you'd forgotten. Yeah, but at that point, I might welcome death if things were getting like really bad. What a happy thought! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's all welcome it. Let's all welcome it. <laughs> hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? It's been a bloody weird year. So, how are you keeping? All right. Yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, yeah, I've been working a lot. Have you write lots of silly jokes. I've been having a good have time. You been out, have you been allowed out and about? And you, your lockdown's eased up a bit, isn't it? Yours, you come out before us in a way. Yeah, it's a bit. I was under the impression that England was coming out earlier. I thought you you guys all had pubs and stuff open already. Oh no, no. And it's, legally, it's no. We've been out and about for the last two months, but legally, we're not allowed out until fully, fully out on the twenty first of uh, twenty. I'll tell you, these are the dates. From the eighth of March, twenty ninth of March, then the twelfth of April, the sixth of May, and the seventeenth of May. We'll begin no earlier than the twenty first of June. 21st of oh, June. Goodness. Okay, cool. That's, uh, Clear as mud, that, isn't it, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, we've got pubs opening, like, next week, I think, which would be nice. Okay, what, we'll it, inside or outside? Just outside. Well, I think uh, I think a mixture. I think outside Ooh. if you want to drink booze, and you only lad inside. If oh, you you can, if you've got a substantial uh, yeah. faggots and peas. Yeah. Hey, cool. Excellent. All right. I'm, I've, I've talked long enough. I'm trying to get it to nine o'clock because I think we'll have a rush of audiences <laughs> at nine o'clock because I really have fucked it up and I apologise to anybody who is like running back from, from going out and doing their walks for nine o'clock. So, Gabriel, third time, fourth time, third time. Fourth, fourth third, fourth, fourth. Fifth. Fourth. Excellent. Thanks. I like this because I can say, friend of the hen house, ladies and gentlemen, it's Gabriel Featherstone. Press that. There you go. Hello, uh, I'm Gabriel Featherstone. I'm a little bit sad at the moment, actually, because um, it's been nearly a year since I broke up with my ex. And even though a lot of time has passed, I still really miss her amazing bathroom. And I did try to sue for joint custody, but her lawyers wiped the floor with me, which is a shame because my demands were pretty humble. I just wanted to be able to visit the bathroom on weekends. Uh, also, uh, this time of year is uh, kind of the time of year that my grandparents died. I miss them a lot. Uh, they used to fight like itchy and scratchy all of the time. I remember one time my grandparents were in the garden and uh, my grandma said to my granddad, fuck you, Patrick. I hope a bee comes along and stings you on the arse. And then, as fortune would have it, a bee did come along and it did sting my granddad on his arm. So my grandma laughed 
in his pain-stricken face and said, You better not piss me off again, Patrick, or else I'll bring the bee back, and this time you'll be in trouble, because you don't have anything else that sounds like testicle. My gran was from Wexford. I can't do an Irish accent, and I sincerely apologise for trying. Um, so to take my mind off all the things that are making me sad, uh, I've been watching a lot of old cartoons. Bugs Bunny's not really a rabbit, is he? He's, he's as big as a man. He speaks fluent English. And he's got human-level intelligence. So Elma Fudd isn't just hunting a normal rabbit. What Elmer's doing is he's going into the woods to hunt and presumably eat something that is essentially a weirdly shaped naked man. If you said to me, I've got this great new pet rabbit, he's as big as a man, he speaks fluent English, and has had, he's got human level intelligence, I'd probably say, it sounds like you've just got a captive man. Let him go. Did you get him from a pet shop? You should report that pet shop to somebody. That that's not really on. Oh, but Gabe, no, he's got he's got long, floppy ears. He's definitely a rabbit. People's bodies are weird sometimes. But just because someone's got long ears doesn't mean they're not human. My nipples are six inches long. But I'm I'm as human as they come. My 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 nipples are six inches long. That doesn't mean I'm a cow. Full disclosure. Uh, my nipples are not uh, actually six inches long, although I did used to know someone who had uh, unusually long nipples. Uh, I don't know how long they were because I never measured them, but they were long enough and thick enough that they did look a little bit like flaccid penises. And they were great. You know, I'm really jealous of long nippled folk. And my nipples are, are normal and pretty much useless. But if you've got like long worm-like nipples, the possibilities are endless. You can twirl them like clockwise and anti-clockwise, like nipple tassels. So you've got your own nipple tassels growing out of your chest that are also your nipples. You can like, uh, you know, stick furry bits to them and use them as pipe cleaners because uh, they're worm-like. You can wiggle them around underwater to lure fish. It's great. I really wish my nipples were longer. Maybe I should get them like stretched. That's something to book. I shall book that. I shall see if that procedure exists, and then I will book it. I want skipping rope nipples. My life is is just tedious, and uh, yeah, my future will be dark without skipping rope nipples. That's how I feel. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish by singing an educational song. Always eat your greens. Doesn't matter what they are so long as they're green. Always eat your greens. Doesn't matter what they are so long as they're green. Cabbages and limes. Cabbages and limes. Those are two examples of greens. <clears throat> Cabbages and limes. Cabbages and limes. Those are the same two examples of greens. Frogs and slime, frogs and slime, frogs and slime, yummy, yummy supper time. Shrek and broken glass, Shrek and broken glass. Broken glass is yummy if it's thoroughly green. Always wear a seat belt, even if you're not going far. Always wear a seat belt, even if you're not in a car. Always brush your teeth. You should never not be brushing your teeth. Never stop brushing your teeth. Grind them down till there's nothing left. Then start brushing somebody else's teeth. Always wear a condom. You must always wear a minimum of seven condoms. Always wear seven condoms. Five on your head and two in your heart. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, and those of you not so ascribed, that's me finished. It's time for Steve to return. Hope you all have a lovely night. Uh, tally ho. How many condoms? Uh, oh.
Always seven. seven. <laughs> Five on your head and two in your heart. Seven what, condoms, man. That's what the World Health Organization recommends. It's official. Oh, I wish I wish my dad was listening to that. But um I mean not now, because he can't, but like before back in the sixties. Right, okay. I've started digging a hole there. Anyway, good news is, uh, Gabriel, <laughs> nipple augmentation, Beverly Hills. What is nipple augmentation? Nipple augmentation is a corrective procedure that allows you to alter the size and shape of your nipples. There you go. Brilliant. That's music so to I my ears. That. I'm going to book a <laughs> as soon as that's I, I When you said it, I thought, I need to know, because I, I agree with you. Bigger yeah. is better. Yeah, exactly. And, like, you know, male nipples have no function. So we can give them function by, by making them lengthy. I'm not sure if that's true. Well, they can't. They don't lactate. They're just decorative, well, fully decorative. Like, well, so you can't I... use them as bottle openers. You can't like use them. You know, they're not legal Tip... tender. You can't detach them and use them to buy like bottles of cider. You just they, thought they of that, haven't you? Legal not, tender nipples is legal tender. Them. If they were detachable, you could like, you know, use them as little frisbees. Or like little hats for like rodents. That'd be something. I like your little hat. Oh, yes, it's a nipple. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I've just yeah. Nipple cool. Hat for right. Your rat. Little nipple hat for your rat. There you go. Yeah, that's, take that's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. We could do that. Hey, Gabriel, brilliant. Loved it. Thank you so much. You are a bit bonkers, though, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but you know, all the best people are. I agree. Uh, agree. Hundred hundred and fifteen percent. Yeah. Um, Which is good. Yeah. I know, I should, can I plug socials and things? I got a. I no. Got things no. Oh, okay. I'll be quiet then. But you can, but you can uh, plug yourself yeah. and, and anything else. But uh, <laughs> we're not sure. all going up to the local social club. Right. Okay. Uh, so I am a writer and a performer on a show called The World Show, which is a sort of comedy talk show thing that the Monkey Barrel Comedy Club have organized. It's really funny, run by, hosted by a really funny comedian called Ross Foley. Um, you should what check part, that out. It's great. What date? It's, what days? It's, it's an episode of it on YouTube. So if you type the world show Monkey Bar into YouTube, there's an hour long video uh, and cool. click on that. It's great. I play play some crazy characters in that. I play a caveman and a weird history teacher and various other things. It's a lot of fun. There's lots of great jokes in it. Lots of really funny people work on it. It's something you should definitely watch. I also, on Twitter, I run the official Tinky Winky Twitter account on Twitter. You remember Tinky Winky from Teletubbies? So uh, I, I run Tinky it. Winky was my favourite. Yeah, I run his Twitter. Purple one like with that. the with the coat hanger. Purple, purple one with a sort of bottle opener head. I uh, yeah. So I run his Twitter. So you type at Winky Real into Twitter, you'll find uh, Tinky Winky's Twitter account, which I run. I'm his go you know young Twitterer. Oh uh, God, he's he's my AA sponsor. I might have lost it now. Jesus. Uh, um, but yeah, also, uh, I'm on Instagram, it's Gabe Featherstone. And I'm Facebook. Gabe? Gabe so, Featherstone. Gabe Featherstone, yeah. Yeah, like fucking bummer. keyboards getting in the way of everything, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So, um, I need send me a link to that um, monkey. If I put monkey Gabriel Featherstone in YouTube, would I find it? Uh, Probably, I, I think so. I think you That's would. Um, but my, I'll, I'll send you a link for it. Cool. Excellent. Gabe, are you staying around for the caption competition? It's rhetorical. Yeah, for sure. I will do. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Nice to have you back in the house. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> Gabriel Featherstone. <laughs> Removed. Yes. Excellent. Wow. Two in a row. That's excellent. We're going to go and see. Uh, let's see. Here we go. <laughs> Going over now to see Av Singh with some breaking news. Av! Breaking news, Steve. I need a shit. <laughs> That's breaking... <laughs> Breaking wind rather than breaking news, yeah. that was, Av. God blimey. Yeah, How are you? Yeah. Had to run. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> it's one of those days where you have to wake up you think, oh. Yeah, I found, I found myself in a dark place this week, Steve. 
Where, where, where was that? Wolverhampton? Oh, yeah, yeah. It was a spare room. <laughs> <laughs> Do you get Amazon? Oh. Amazon will send you a light bulb. Oh, yeah, oh, you've got one, haven't you? That's what it is. I, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm assuming that you haven't got a light bulb in your spare I haven't got a light bulb in my spare room because the first time a light bulb, I go up to the spare room, take the light bulb out and put it down, down here. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah, that's, uh, that's content for you. <laughs> what's your <laughs> What's the news of the week, Av? What's your favourite news story this week? Well, there's been a few stories, haven't there? I'll go through. Um, I'll go. With, I'll go with the weakest one first about Boris and his texting. Oh, dear. so he's, 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 he's texting. He, he was. I like to say that he was texting a suck master, <laughs> and that, Cummings the... was involved. Well, they only say now that Cummings... They, they've, they've leaked Cummings today, haven't they? Cummings uh, leaked. Uh, 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 he's, but yeah. he's, but D Johnson was saying that, that, that he's done nothing wrong because like any prime minister where in that situation would try and get better um, uh, ventilators, right? That's fine. That is fine, but he's also offering him tax cuts and, and incentives as well, which is probably not as fine. Well, have, have you seen how expensive a fucking Dyson is? Can you imagine how much the ventilators would have been? Oh. <laughs> I bet Dyson's like, oh, is, yeah, he goes on that, isn't he? That's it, triple, the Dyson's triple the price. He's done a wand. My wife brought one of his wands. That's like half the house, that was. <sighs> it's, it's ridiculous. Ridiculous. But I hope you know. I hope they just you know have an inquiry and find out that that, that nothing was 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 wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Go. He was in the news again this week, wasn't he? Because he, he had to cancel his uh, his a uh, his trip to India. So um, he thought, you oh, know, yeah. I'll know where to go instead. He'll go to Wolverhampton. <laughs> There's um, plenty of Indians there, isn't it? God. God. I'm not saying. I'm not saying. I, I'm not. I'm not going down that path. But you, you're right, though. I do like Wolverhampton, though. I'm a big fan of Wolverhampton. Oh, yeah. Did well, did my first gig there at the Lighthouse Media Centre. So not having anything. Oh, to, did you? Yeah, I did make. I did make me laugh there because they made it to, into a university town, didn't they? By making it a polytechnic or something. It was a polytechnic, and they made it into a university. Which still means it was shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, agree strongly. Agree strongly. Yeah. <laughs> but I like everybody in Wolverhampton. A big shout out to Penn. I lived in Penn for a while. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's my question, <laughs> Boris. <laughs> <laughs> Wolverhampton, <Yeah>. Indians. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Oh, there was also uh, news, wasn't it, about the football? That was big news, wasn't it? Oh, don't talk to me about football. We had a penalty uh, given against us the other day, and if we'd have, if it hadn't been a penalty, we would have, we'd have stayed up. But, 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 but it wasn't a penalty, but it was still given. Who do you support? Not telling you. West Brom. Hilar I'm a no, I'm a, 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 a villain. Stand up if you love the blues. So, uh, yeah. A blue nose. A blue nose. Yeah. Brown arse and blue nose. That's me. It's, got, it's not, this could be worse, couldn't it? Could be worse. Could be worse. I could support Wolverhampton. But, um, you know, everyone, I don't get it why everyone was so shocked, you know, that find out their billionaire owners were greedy bastards. <laughs> why, so, why is that it's so all, shocking to know I find know. out it's all yeah. about the money honey and I, I don't get what how Tottenham made the top six <laughs> what, <laughs> how did they make the top six <laughs> they, I, yeah because is it is it the top six in football is it the top six in money is it do, do they have or maybe because it's the size of their it's the size of their stadium isn't it size matters um, I don't know. Is, have, have a, what's the last thing they won? I don't know. Tottenham? Yeah. Didn't they win a charity shield? <laughs> I don't think they win that, did they? Uh, uh, Bring Ozzy Idealist back, I think. It might, you might have a uh, chance. 
Yeah, we're, we're now losing people because nobody really likes to talk about football these days, unless you're talking about how much money they can make. And that's that's important, isn't it, really? Uh, hey, young uh, we got, we've, yeah, I was, that's, I was just wondering who else we've got. Can you remember Wade? Wade, he's, he's, he's coming. He's, uh... with, the, with the long fingers. They are. Aren't they? I think we'd, what? Should we say what, what I thought I said to you before that I hope he's not a proctologist. <laughs> What's that? It's not. He's... I know. <laughs> <laughs> very long fingers. Yeah. Very, very, very long fingers. But I'm sure. Right. It's a, I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm sure he's a nice guy. Yeah. Well, look. This will prove that he's. We could have had him on live three weeks ago if he'd have got a good internet. Yeah, I've, but... I, I feel quite insecure now. Look at, look at that. <laughs> 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 That's it. God, blimey. If, if, if he flicked you the middle finger, you'd know about it, wouldn't you? He'd probably hit me in the face. He'd be six foot away from me. <laughs> what's, what's, the, what's the time, Av? Is Elliot's, Elliot's like uh, running seven minutes late? So uh, I, I might go to Elliot. Is that all right? Yes, you have my permission. There's no more. Is there, is there no more news? Uh, no, I'll, I'll save it for the uh, captions. <laughs> We've got the caption competition. My God, I'm so excited on a Friday night. Thanks, Av. See you in a bit. Uh, God bless you, Av Singh. Av Muxing. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Ah, we're going to go see Elliot now. Elliot is also a friend of the show. I'm going to guess Elliot has been on before. <laughs> I want to say three. Elliot! Why can't I hear you? There we go. Hello, you? I'm here now. Oh, 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 oh clever. <laughs> my clever. my, my, my was needs, needs work. What was, what was, the, what was the prob? Practicing, practicing my ventriloquism. Oh, it's very good. You know, it's it's all about. It's all it's all about the values and the T's. You see, very good. Do you know I work with um, Keith Harris in Orville? I, I that, that as a fact, I, that doesn't doesn't surprise me in the slightest. <laughs> I, I I I expect nothing less from the love child of Stalin and Elmo. Well, yes, but no, he lost his voice. Keith Harris did. Uh, he had a cold. He was doing it was like a summer season thing, and uh, he could do. He could do the monkey because it was down there. I ate that duck, but he couldn't do Orville because he's it, he couldn't do the ventriloquism for, for for Orville. And I found that fascinating. And I've just shared it with you and the twenty eight people that are watching. And I hope they found well, it yeah, fascinating I'm too. I'm surprised we have that, have that many after that, 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 that gripping new segment. Goodness me! <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I lied about the twenty eight. <laughs> we, 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 we we all know, Steve. We all know. <laughs> Also, so how's you, your lockdown? We haven't seen you. Go on. It, it, it wouldn't surprise me, Steve. It turns out you, you actually were Orville as grown up and shaved. Well, I did actually have to dress up as Orville once. Again, but, it doesn't surprise but, me at all. I, I'm, well, not... I, I'm worried for what event it was for. It, well, no, it was like I was working at a theatre in Stafford and uh, Keith Harris was coming to do the, the gig there and I, they sent me out dressed as in, in, in the worst fancy dress costume of Orville to give out leaflets, really. Uh, which was bad, but I was also Stafford's first ever Tidy Ted mascot as well. Of course, of, of, of course, you were. <laughs> We've reached a point in our friendship, Steve. Where literally nothing you say can can, can surprise me anymore. <laughs> you you <laughs> probably got the magic out of our friendship. That, that's upsetting for both of us. <laughs> it is, but it, it's good to say. Have you been managed to do? Because you've done a few online gigs as well, haven't you? Uh, like I'm, with I'm... your uh, diversity quota. I've done a few of those. It's, it's, we, we, we do it with the University of Glasgow, so we sort of do it whenever they need an event done. So I sort of kind of I'm only allowed to do them when I'm sort of given permission to host it yeah. at the venue, which is nice um, because it means we get a bigger audience and there's a and it's low, low cost for me, but it means I'm quite limited when I can do it. But it's got to do we do got to do only to, to to whittle away our finite time before the grave. Blimey, what is it with you people up there in Scotland? Um, old, old Gabriel was talking. Old Gabriel was talking Gabriel. about. <laughs> I know what I'm about I'm death. Them today, you can tell. Hey. No, but I love I love your diversity quota. I think it's a great thing that you've you never do. been. But thank um, you. <laughs> she literally never no. seen it. That's a very lovely, lovely lie you just told. 
No, I've seen I've seen the online show. Are you really? Um, I'm, I'm so sorry yeah, then. I donated as well, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you should, yeah, I wouldn't have said anything until you because uh, no, but I love it because you 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 offer you offer people um, spots like that, and and I think you know we should be more we should be know, so much should, more you diverse. Cream, really, hmm? you get better hand cream. Really, it's getting too contagious. Hey, hey. this is don't don't give it don't give out your gold yet, Elliot. You got to do your you got to do your spot. Uh, you're, you're the bolder you assume I have some. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just gonna check you on now. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to perform my goal to the, the two people watching. That's no, the, we've lost three since I mentioned it. But um, <laughs> people, do go and go and find the, the diversity creature when you're up in Glasgow. Right. Yes, do do that. Third time, fourth time. For, uh, uh, what's the what's the largest number you can think of? Five. Uh, somewhere between minus five and five. Yeah, why confuse me with numbers? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so excited. He's back in the hen house. It's Batman. Elliot Simpson. <laughs> it's, me. it's me. Hello, hello everyone. Hello. It's it's me. I'm I'm Elliot. It's about one L and two T's. Makes an anagram for toilet, if that helps. Uh, yeah, and since I've started my career as a, as, a, as, a, as a drag queen, I'm now Elliot with two T's in more ways than one. Uh, yes, I am. I am here. I am queer. And now I've seen the um, autism film music. I fucking hate to see you. Really, really dreadful. Uh, yes, I'm. A, I'm a queer child. Who, 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 who would have, who would have guessed? I'm. I'm just. I'm just away today because you know I, I got really inspired. By my famous, uh, you know, my, 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 you know, my, my, my number one favorite uh, TV role model, uh, which was Dusty Bin from Three Two One. So well, if literal trash can get on TV. You know, I've, I've got, I've got a fair shot. Uh, but no, yes, I, I was queer growing up. They sent me to church at a very young age. Uh, they tried to basically cure me of my impure homosexual thoughts. I think it works a little too well, because now I'm asexual. And I don't want to fuck anything. Uh, but, you know, it's helped out in lockdown, at least. You know, uh, if I run out of masks, I now just uh, wear my pants on my face, because nothing gets in them. Uh, you know, I was quite, quite confused last year when Boris Johnson gave his slogan of a eat out to help out. That's terrible advice for asexuals. You know, but, but I honestly thought it just literally meant just eating outside for the longest time. I wasn't aware it was like a sex thing. So over the past three years, all my friends have been thinking I've been shagging a pair of twins called Greg. Uh, but no, no, if you know what asexual means, basically, you know, I like my partners how I like my tea. You know, warm, sweet, and nowhere near my trousers. Uh, but I, I am also um, autistic, if that wasn't immediately, very painstakingly obvious. Uh, so yes, I am both asexual and autistic. Uh, so I do not like big butts, and I definitely cannot lie. Uh, well, you know, I, I, I am the worst kind of autistic, because, you know, um, I annoy people, and I'm shit at maths. You know, not surprising, not very good at multiplying. Um, but also, I'm I'm the worst kind of asexual because you know you know uh, cause also because I'm a freelancer, so I hate nudity and I get paid an exposure. I know it makes matters worse. I'm actually a fucking photographer, so I can't even flash people. Uh, but you know what? You know, I, you know I, I don't really understand the whole sex thing. I Me mean, personally, you know, uh, you know, I, I only buy condoms because they're cheaper than socks. But you know what? You know, I, I, again, I'm not really that, that. I'm not really a good asexual. You know, I'm not, I'm not anti-sex. Not against sex. I hate sex. I'm more. I'm indifferent. I'm indifferent to sex. You know, for me, sex is like Game of Thrones. I could watch it, but I probably won't. You know. So if anything, maybe asexual is not the right term. Maybe I'm not asexual. Maybe I'm more, you know, shagnostic. Uh, you know. But you know, I, I thought there was like a medical problem with me for, for ages. So I asked my doctor, and he said to me, um, "Well, uh, well, Ellie, um, you can touch yourself whenever you feel like it." Uh, next week in hospital, turns out we actually said was um, I could have a stroke at any time. Oh well, it's a fucking microbiologist as well. It's not larger than I thought you'd be. Uh, but you know, I get, I get really annoyed. I get really fucking annoyed, and people fucking trying to quiz me. Try, they try to interrogate me on being asexual. They say, "How do you know? How do you know you don't like sex? You've never tried it, yeah? How do you know you don't like sex? You've never tried it?" I think, well, uh, how do you know you're an arachnophobe if you've never? Fucked a spider. Yeah. How do you know you're a cannibal if you've never fucked a spider? <laughs> I find it really insensitive when people come to me and they say, uh, they say, oh, are you seeing anyone? Are you seeing anyone? When they know damn well I'm forever haunted by the ghosts of those I've killed. Uh, uh, but no, I, I, I am seeing someone now, actually. Um, I actually have a, a wonderful partner called Georgia. She's uh, she's smart, she's kind, she's talented, she's funny, she's clever, she's beautiful, she's perfect in every way possible. Uh, in other words, she's 
fucking ruin my life. It's fucking horrible. Like, how, how, the, how the fuck am I meant to make depressing comedy about being an un- isolated, untouched loser now? But no, I, 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 I love her really. You know, uh, yeah, she's, I mean, she, she, she's a perfect match for me uh, because she's a vegan. So, hey, we, we both hate handling meat. <sighs> I mean, the worst thing is, though, that the longer I've been with her, the more sort of randy I've become. This is the issue about being openly asexual. If I have sex, I can literally taint my reputation. Uh, but no, hey, who, who, who am I kidding? This is 2021. Why would I ever need to have sex when the world fucks me every day? You know, I'm quite scared to go back into society. You know, I don't really know how to socialize. You know, all, all the cool kids are talking about WAP, which I can only assume stands for, whoa, a parsnip. Uh, you know, I, 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 I just want to go outside and talk to cats. Uh, but wait, fun fact about animals. Do you know that uh, animals actually have regional accents? Yeah, it's true. Uh, I met a dog in Birmingham. Couldn't understand a word he said. No idea. Uh, no, not, not, not looking forward to hosting again. You know, the hardest thing about being a host is that if you don't provide enough food and water, uh, the parasite dies. Uh, but yeah, but you know what? I, 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 I'm glad to be here to you know, you know, to to represent because you know a bit of diversity to this very, very, very sausage fest of a, of a comedy night. Because I am actually a gender fluid individual, uh, and you know what? I I, 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 do believe and support you know trans trans, trans rights, and I, I really, I really hate turfs. I can't stand turfs. Turfs infuriate me with their non sequiturs. They're all like, Ugh, all men have dicks. That trans man doesn't have a dick, therefore he's not a man. I'm like, no, 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 that, that, that's just a, a logical fallacy. And I don't like when people misgender people either. Don't misgender people. It's just really fucking rude. You know, it's like misnationalizing someone. If you can't understand how upset someone can get when you get their gender wrong, I fucking dare you to call a Scotsman English. They will fucking let you know. But you know what? Things are, you know, things are improving slowly. And you know what? Even though I'm asexual, I, I do actually heavily support sex work. And I support sex workers. You know, I've got nothing against sex work. I've got nothing against porn. Well, you know, well, it's not entirely true. I do think that porn gives you a very unhealthy expectation of how quickly a plumber will come to your house. But, you know, other than that, it's all chill. But things are improving slowly, especially in video games. Uh, I don't know, know this, a lot of video games nowadays, you can like, have an avatar, you can customise it, create it your own, make it look like a reflection of you. And now in video games, you can make your character gay, you can make them trans, you can make them asexual, you can make them bisexual, make them whatever. Uh, but some people get very angry about this. Some people are really, really angry that you could be gay in video games. And I was here thinking, wow, it's going to fucking blow their minds when they find out you could be gay in real life too. <laughs> uh, no, but that being said, you know, um, I, I'm, I am scared to go back into back into bars and stuff because, you know, I, 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 I cannot stand it when a, when a man walks in made out of licorice, you know, they're fucking letting all sorts these days. But, you know, that being said, it's, 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 it's lovely to be here, lovely to be with you all. Uh, I was a bit scared about coming on, but you know what? As my granddad's told me on his deathbed, if at first you don't succeed, uh, then bomb disposal is not for you. That way, that's, that's, that's all me. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh exactly. Wait, wait. How about that? How long was that? That was exactly seven minutes, at least by my account. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm sure you oh. correct me in the private chat. I don't. I know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I, it's it's a guideline. I'm saying, but um, I'll, I'll definitely to, to see. I, I'm fully aware. Not, neither me nor anyone watching cares. Well, mm, I care. <laughs> I, I also uh, just want to say uh, logical fallacy. I know. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> yeah, excellent. There was a lot of excellent stuff in there. What I liked as well. Uh, I laughed a lot, Elliot, and it's a shame that you didn't hear me. <laughs> is, but... is it like, like the first time you've ever done that watching my set? <laughs> no. But like, I think it's a shame that when when we do this, that you can't hear the people laughing. That's, that's... Well, we, 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 you could try doing it on Zoom in future. Yeah, no, it costs me more, but we'll see. Isn't, I'm gonna... oh, is oh, yeah, because Zoom needs like to have several people on the call. You need uh, yeah, yeah. To, to, oh, yeah to to get it to 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 put it into YouTube and to to Facebook. But hey ho, what we're we gonna do? Hey ho, Ian's Ian's got his head in his hands. He, he can't he can't believe we're we're still talking. But, I, I know. Um... I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's 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 no good. But I, I, uh, well, the thing of Ian, like, I can't tell if he's in despair. He's his arthritis is playing up. It's hard to tell. Why why, why am I back on? Don't <laughs> be back on. I've done my time. Leave me alone. I, please, I put my finger. Alone. I put my finger on my space bar, which has never happened before. Which is which is good. But I, I did want to pick you up. About... You're afraid to go back on stage. It's the only night I feel this way. <laughs> yeah, I did want to pick you up about the sausage fest thing. Thank you. Because like it is I'm no, I'm not. I'm not because oh, like, because right. we are we are we are heavenly. This is the first time it's been a, 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 an all male show. Uh, and but, no, I'm disappointed in you because it's Doctor Who. That's all. 
That's all. And, because, uh, because, because, because never in the history of the universe has a, has a woman ever liked Doctor Who. No, because it's our Doctor Who. Don't pick me. I'm <laughs> make me feel bad. I feel bad now. I felt bad since you oh, said you that. Sure you boy. But uh, anyway, 14th of May, it's all female. So, yeah. Uh, right. oh, nice. I, I watched I watch that one. <laughs> no, some nice ones. Nice, nice ones? Good ones. They have names, Steve. Yeah, I know, but I was going to tell you their names and I, they just all went out my head. I forget people's names. Typical, but Gabriel. Does he know their names? Typical. Typical. Oh, don't make me feel bad. I'm going to bring Ian in because we're going to, going to do the caption competition. And, oh, and, yeah. uh, right. and so he, I'm just, just saying that just so I don't surprise. I surprised him earlier and he was... Uh, he's now turned his camera off. Or he might oh. not have turned his camera off. It could have just gone. He, just, he gets to dodge the internet occasionally. It could be that. that that's what happens with uh, when, when we're doing uh, Doctor Who. So um, there we. I'll bring him in anyway. See if he. See if he. See if he. See if he comes in. Uh, that, that's that's. Av's, Av, I've, I've got Av in as well. Hello, so Av. we're going to do the uh, caption competition. But we, we were going to wait for Ian, but Ian might just pop in. Uh, at uh, Av, I thought you were. There you go. Right. Good. Oh, Are you excited? I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed Gabriel didn't do his classic intro because I was going to I was going to parody that in my show in my set. And I couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> I, I was, I was, I was going to open my set going, hello, I'm Elliot Simpson, the greatest Gabriel Featherstone impersonator in this bedroom. And I couldn't do it. <laughs> oh, why? Why can't you just you did. did. <laughs> That's, know, that's... Right, I've got the captions in a different way tonight, so that'll be great, won't it? I've just got to find out where I put them. There they are. Right. Because we're in Scotland, look at that one. Um... The wrong shit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ian's here in spirit. Old bag. <laughs> oh. old... Is that... Is... Is that Subo on a Scottish ventilator? Hey, ventilators are all the rage these days. Susan Boyle yeah. advocates Scottish independence by demonstrating why the English should never handle Scottish items. Is she? She's Scottish, though, isn't she? I thought she's Scottish. She? Oh, I yeah, know. Yeah, she, she, she lost her rights. <laughs> she's lost her rights. Now <laughs> she's lost her rights. Right. Susan, all pump pipe party. Oh, gosh. Oh, man. <laughs> I love her hat that looks like an obsidian Pac-Man eating a cherry. Oh, I like <laughs> It's evil Kermit the Frog eating a cherry. <laughs> oh, that's Ian. Hi. Yes, that's 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 our, our, our Sue Blows. So why is Dom coming on twice? What, what are you trying to be going to try to do, me, Dom? He's frozen, and uh, what? Why is everyone's right? We got two Don Mackies now. Why is that? Oh, it can I get? Like a oh, I got kicked. Oh, I didn't kick you. You missed it before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, uh, is it is it Hen Knight ends disastrously in cat scan? Whoa. <laughs> That's probably going to be the best one. <laughs> yeah, Cats yeah. only fans like takes the piss. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as chickens observe cat through glass. I was going to do was, that one. I was going to. I was going to set up. Things. I'm on a. I'm on a journalism course at the moment. Where... Amsterdam chickens view pussy. Hey. <laughs> I, I was going to. Uh, a kind of running it's joke a... where every picture I was just going to explain what was happening in the picture and explain it because I'm on a journalism course and we've been taught to like only tell the truth that it's evil to like mislead the public with like misleading captions. But I, I failed by doing one for Susan Boyle because the hat was irresistible. Oh, no, I didn't the even do a caption good. though. I just commented on her hat. I could have set up my running gag. Ah, oh, I've defeated myself. So I've actually just... seen. I've actually seen. He's gone. Photo He's gone. Before on the. Um, I've I, I've seen this photo before actually. Uh, it was under the hashtag um, Cox Loom Over Pussy on the Christian Porn Cleansing website. I think it was. I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna say something similar to that. It's taken. Great. Uh, uh, cat, uh, uh, cat nip taken too literally. 
Ooh. See, that's <laughs> See. Mm. Uh, could it be something about... Could it be like the nativity? Could the, the could the cat represent Jesus and the chicken are like the wise men? Three wise hens. Or is that three wise hens? No hey. such thing as a wise hen. Yeah. I'll give you that. <laughs> they, I, I thought it was it was cat in Blackpool Tower looking down, right? But if you've never been there, you've never seen it. That's what I call a very specific reference. <laughs> Yes, I'm but I, 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 I'm just thinking out loud there. But I do. I'm going with Gabriel with, we with three, three hens of Orient. Are look at a cat who's been at the bar. <laughs> hey, <laughs> we can't see you, but we can hear you. So I don't know if that's intentional or yes. not, Ian. Okay, cool. Right, so <laughs> let's go for the last one. Ah. Oh. Oh, look, dinner. And he's brought up starter. <laughs> <laughs> is, uh, is, is, is the bear thinking, uh, I'll try that donkey punch? Uh, Russian bears make love on the set of scales. Oh, sca ah, ah, ah. Maybe the, f ah. Maybe, the, maybe the fish is Jesus. Maybe the man is Jesus because Jesus was the fisher of men. And 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 the bear is Judas about to betray him to the Romans, and the Romans are like the stomach acid inside the bear, and that's like I, it's it's all a visual metaphor for 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 the, for the death of Christ. I I was I was with you for. for I mean, I, that. I don't know about you, but this this photo is barely legal. Hey. I was gonna say, I was gonna say I can't bear it. Yeah. Uh, fish can't oh. bear photo bomb. Kill me. <laughs> there, there we Survivor go. Let's end. Horrible encounter. He was. Oh. oh, you were doing well, and then it stopped. All yeah, right, let's get rid. You ruined it. Oh well, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I, I apologise. Uh, stop screen. Get rid of that. Look at that. Ian's in the middle. Ian, are you are you able to do your bit? Yay! There he is. Say goodbye to everybody, and uh, we'll just have a little chat with Ian. Hello, mate. You're not my Friday friends. <laughs> do, you have fr do you have Friday friends? Your I second I Tuesday friends. This isn't right. I know. It is. It's, it's nice, second Tuesday. That's quite a nice thing, isn't it? This is Ian TC, another Doctor Who contributor. Hello. Who? 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 <laughs> See, I like... Tom said about going to Japan to meet his brother. I went to New York to meet mine, and it was a waste of fucking time. He wasn't there. That that's that. <laughs> I haven't slept in a while, so this is a bit bizarre. Who are you again? That's, that's You're not right. My you Friday are Friday friends. I want to be your Friday friends. How how is it going in 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 Glasgow? Are you are you ready ready to work yet? Yeah, we, we open again sometime in the future that isn't as long as it was last time they said. That's the good kind of thing you get as an insomniac that all other times are right now and all other times. Thank so, you. Yes. There you go. Ian Ian does tattoos, by the way, in Glasgow. If you're looking for a tattoo and you're in Glasgow, it's easy to find as well. Just good tattoos. Goodtattoos.com. Yeah. That that'd be good. I hope to come up to Glasgow, and when I do, I'm going to see if Ian is free to do a. a I am moderately inexpensive. I hey uh, no, but it, it it is what it is though, isn't it? Surely you pay for what you get. Yeah, um, uh, international <laughs> award-winning tattoo artists. They'll have you know ten different countries. Yeah. Suck it, bitch. No, uh, so this this is before you ask the annoying question. This is my second time shouting at a camera for you. And uh, I think if we add it to people, this will be me performing for this hen house to two. And I'm rounding up. So that that's good. <laughs> as long as you're not punching up, that's the main thing. So uh, I'm, yeah, I'm happy. I always punch up. Yeah. That's no, good. Um, so, uh, go. What? No, oh, you were going to say oh. something, and I felt, I felt I interrupted you. It's, uh, start. 
score. No, no. Do, do you want to start? Yeah. Sooner you start, then the sooner these two people can go. So, um, <laughs> back in the hen house for the second time with his Friday. Two people. With his Friday friends. Yeah, but can you imagine the replays friends. we're going to get? It's Ian, the comedian. No, it's not. That's the button I press. It's, it's kind of, this is the weirdest thing about these online gigs. It's just me shouting at my own reflection. It's like, who is this tiny man? He looks in the mirror at me. It's just strange stuff. This always starts like a seance though. All these gigs, you go, can you hear me? Can you hear, can you, can you hear me? Can, can you, can you hear me? Uncle, can, because Papa, can you hear me? It's getting that weird shit that everyone's doing. It's like, it's, it's just shouting at TV. I didn't know my dad was ahead of the time. I always thought he was daft shouting about it. That was never offside. He was just ahead of the curve. It's strange stuff. Right? I do like them for one reason. I've got really bad legs. I've got arthritis in my legs, so I can't stand up for long periods of time. So I decided to become a stand-up because I like a challenge. Why the fuck not? You know what I mean? Uh, but I get no sympathy for it. And all my friends are dicks. Not my, my, my new Friday friends, but other friends. And I got a gift for my birthday, which was very recently. They bought me a camouflage walking stick. Yeah, it sounds like a nice gift until they told me why. They went, ha, ha, ha. You can hide, but you can't run. You think that's funny, do you? Do you? Well, you should walk a mile in my shoes because it's probably the furthest they'll ever go. But that's and I feel that like I'm wasting the the, the kind of the shoe leather. It's, it weighs on me. It keeps me up at night, and that's what I'm an insomniac. Have I mentioned? I don't know. I may have said it before, but no one's listening. It doesn't matter. But I, like I said, I'm an insomniac, and everyone's muscling in it. Because I thought it made me unusual, and now everyone, because of lockdown, they, no one's got a sleep pattern anymore. And sleep pattern is another thing that bothers me. Everyone's got these neat things and patterns. If I had a sleep pattern, it'd look like a fucking Jackson Pollock. Just fucking smash. Oh, I should point out that insomnia makes you a little bit scatty brains. You don't know what's actually happening. So I should just point out, I fucking hate Ed Sheeran. There, I said it. And not because of the other, re other reasons people hate Ed Sheeran. Not because he's ginger. I would never be that shallow. Some of my best friends are ginger. Nah, of course they're not. I've got him. Um, I, I don't. Uh, he's mentioned I'm a tattooist. I don't hate him because he's got shit tattoos. I hate him because of one fucking song. I hate him because of the height of his popularity everywhere. And I mean, everywhere I walked into, when my arthritis was getting as bad as it could, everywhere I walked into, all I heard was, when your legs don't work like you used to before, fuck you, you fat ginger troll. It's like, oh, I've got this thing as well. It's, it keeps beeping. It's an Apple Watch, right? And I, I don't know how, it's got this feature. I don't know how to turn it off. It just keeps telling me to breathe all the time. And I, I, I've nearly fucking died because I'm stubborn. I'm like, you're not my real dad, right? And, you know, if you go, if you pass out in the street because your watch is telling you to breathe and you don't want to do it, and then the paramedics show up, that's really embarrassing when they have to go, hey, do you have underlying health conditions? Are you asthmatic? And you have to go, no, my watch is a dick. But I bought it for one reason, right? Because the salesman was brilliant. He said all these things to me. He says, um... If your watch registers you running, it'll add it to your fitness regime. And I'm like, really? If my watch registers me running at any time, I want it to phone the police because it's been stolen. It's, it's, but I, 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 you do anything as insomniac to try and keep yourself awake, right? Well, to try and distract yourself from being awake. And I try and gaming. Right, I was really into gaming, but I had to give it up because it was starting to really affect the way I seen the world. It was like, um, honestly, uh, my girlfriend, I started to think it as Enter Player 2, which is two jokes if you think about it. But but now I'm, I'm kind of single and older now. I, I'm more a, a first-person shooter. Yeah, uh, that's a, a wank joke. No, I know, it's a, but see... Everyone always gets to a point where they tell me about being insomniac and stuff like that. So have you tried porn? I'm like, really? Try porn? I'm a 44-year-old insomniac. I've nearly completed the internet, right? But I'll tell you though, porn is, I'll leave you with this kind of thing. Porn is an underused resource, right? It is. I bought my 15-year-old nephew a kinetically charging watch and a laptop. I've solved the energy crisis. Right. Think about it. Think about how good that would be. It would change the way we go. People go, like, masturbation for energy conservation. There's something I can get behind. You know what I mean? 
that, and you know, it might even change even the way we talk to one another. If someone shouted, hey, wanker, you'd be like, yeah, I do my bit. So that's my five minutes, and it could be 10 hours. I don't know. So I'm going to hand you back to Stephen, and everyone who's still listening, you can follow me. Why not? Why not? Because they should. Uh, yeah. That's the thing. I think you did. It was perpetual motion, was it? That is fantastic. Yeah, it, I don't know. Mm, uh, well, that, that, the energy crisis. Anyway, I've got an Apple Watch, right? You can do on settings the breathe thing. Yeah. In the, you can, because this is that is my Apple Watch. If you got it, you saw it. You were sold a lemon, mate. Give us <laughs> <a lemon. laughs> Yay! Ian, thank you so much. I should get you on every week, really. No. <laughs> <laughs> then we could be like proper Friday friends. Oh, no, my other Friday friends are getting upset now. No, honestly, I'm going to have you on every week, mate. So thank you, thank you, thank you, by the way. And if you are in Glasgow and you want a tattoo, Ian is the best because he's award winning as well. Um, award winning, 10 different let's... countries. Ten. I think your Friday friends want to come and say goodbye. Hello, Friday friends. One of them though is actually listening to what is listening to porn. Is he? Oh, good. No, they are. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're doing a Doctor Who quiz in uh, a week and a bit. When is it, Dom? Elliot's got the questions already written. <laughs> but what was the date? I'll have to go on to be calendar. The date is going to be on the 4th of May. 4th of May, people. The magic of Doctor Who on the internet. May May the 4th. We're going to do Star Wars Day. We're going to do Doctor Who. Awesome. Hey, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. We could get Gabriel in to do a a quiz. Yeah, right. If he's not busy. When is it? Look at that. I've just put you on on the spot now. These these 53 people that have just joined us are are going to know that you're going to do that now. Yeah, well, that'll do that. I guarantee you there's more voices in my head than in watching right now. (laughs) (laughs) That is is so true. When you are stuck with this in lockdown, it gets louder and louder. I have performed by myself to more personalities than are watching this immediately right now. I can <laughs> shout into a mirror and have more people have feedback instantly than I got from shouting at a screen. <laughs> so you've been watching uh, Hen Nights on uh, Friday the 23rd, which is actually, it's actually the day of, oh man, brilliant. Uh, so, Happy yes. St. George's. Thank- I see. I was. I, t- I promised my son I wouldn't mention it at all, and I. I haven't, but you have, Dom. You thanks. didn't. You so didn't. I, yeah, I still got to give him money. So, um, thank you. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He wasn't watching. He'll never know. <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. <laughs> Whenever I've got two people watching, I know it's my kids. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. None of us sad or heartwarming. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, yeah, bit of both. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you all, thank you, thank you all. I really hope we can all get together at some point and 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 see each other either in in Scotland or in in the Midlands or somewhere else. It's not the but, end of uh, World War One. For fucking saying, right? I'm Vidalin. <laughs> well, hey, really, we'll really in meet again. Don't no, but I know when. No when. Don't thank you, Dom. Do you know what? At least I know what I can do on the end show now. I can I can put a montage up to Vera Lynn, so thanks for that. You're very but, welcome. All one of the people watching it will be touched. Yeah. Both my children will be touched. Well, they hey, don't. Careful right. of the context you show that into a television screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, it's, if, it, if, it, if it's one note I have this so entire evening, I need a longer intro. Right. And that's all right. he's already admitted he's been working with like nonsense from the past. Was it Orville and all that kind of stuff? <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Keith oh, Harris was Keith Harris. Keith Harris wasn't wasn't a nonce. Right. So thank you so much. I'm going to say goodbye. Wade is going to say goodbye. Then we're going to say goodbye. Thank you so much, people. Uh-huh. And uh, stay cool, Steve. Take care of yourself. Word to your mother. Peace out.
fuck you, goodbye, you hurt me for the last time It's time for me to move on, so fuck you and goodbye I gave you love and I hate it, yeah I love the time that I wasted Fuck you, goodbye, you hurt me for the last time 